Hey, how's it going, brothers and sisters? This is Brother Herb. Um, today is December the 13th, but it's really early in the morning. I got to really just thank Jesus Christ because uh, I recently, about two weeks ago, on um, November 29th, I got my um, um, my black belt. So it's been about a couple weeks, and um, I want to really wait until Jesus Christ really wanted me to say something, how to say it, and the time is right now. And like I said before, brothers, just understand that the main thing I want to tell you is allow God to work on your patience, allow God to work on whatever he wants to work on. It ain't always about patience for some people. Some people are too patient. You know, it's all about what God wants you to work on, but understand that God has a way of using the things of this world, you know, like judo, for example, to teach you valuable lessons. Technically, Jesus Christ created judo and all of that, and all the martial arts and all of that stuff, because the Bible says all things that were created were created, um, that Jesus Christ created all things. So, I mean, all of this stuff really, you know, all of that's really a gift from Jesus Christ and God anyway. Um, but, uh, and I'm going to double check with my bishop, but I'm, you know, I know I'm right. But, um, Either way it goes, just allow Jesus Christ to work on your patience. I was very blessed and fortunate because what happened was I got upset about the um, the one first promotion, but God taught me patience. Then I mess around and catch COVID for like the first time that I know of, two, three days before um, I go out for the second test. And at that time, we were ready. And then... By the grace of God, since a uh, Francis Glaze, she decided to drive down and she drove to our gym in Detroit. She drove like an hour and a half down. And also since a Al Panenki, the two Roku Dons, um, six, they have to be, you have to be a six degree black belt and above. And um, at least so I'm not sure their exact rank, but I know they're at least a six degree and above. But they got together and came to our gym and evaluated me and my uh, training partner, Alan Weary. So I have to thank Sensei Francis Glaze and Sensei El Panenki for really taking the time out to help us and do things for us and work with us. And, and that's one thing I'm going to tell you, brothers and sisters. You never know who God's going to put in your life to help you. You know, I'm a black man from the city of Detroit. And the fact that you have people from different walks of life that are outside of my culture and outside of my, really, my ethnicity that are helping me, but also primarily with my brother, Sean Tong Davis, um, who's a black man, one of the brothers from the city of Detroit too. See, you have, God knows how to use all people from all walks of life to, 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 to teach you a lesson and to move you up in life. So I just have to thank uh, Sean Ton Davis for uh, helping me out, Alan for working with me as my kind of partner, Sensei uh, Harold for working with us, um, all the brothers and sisters who work with us, and um but just, brothers and sisters, just focus on, just understand that it's not about a belt rank or about your martial art that you do or use or, you know, it's really about the Jesus, what Jesus Christ teaches you, what God teaches you through the things that he gives you. You know, with the lessons that God, that you learn from God blessing you to be able to put special feathers in your daily cap, you know or your daily, you know, be able to put feathers in your hat. And so you have to understand, you know, you have to understand what, you know, God's plan and purpose is for your life. Like Jeremiah 29 talks about, you have to understand God has a plan for your life in closing. God has a plan for your life. You got to stick with that and work with that, okay? But learn to be patient and understand that, you know, when it comes, it'll be worth it. And you'll be ready, but also understand that many times, the moment you come to a place of promotion, the first thing that you got to worry about is the devil trying to tear you down right away. Just because I got my black belt and it was a major changing point in my life and I got Jesus on my belt, this and that, these and those, the devil still came came to steal, kill, and destroy. Kill, steal, and destroy. And that little perfect magical ride only lasts about four days until some of the issues that I was dealing before I got a black belt came back. But it's still just the beginning. So just trust in Jesus Christ, trust in God. Now, if there's anyone, um, I'm an evangelist. That means I do the prayer of salvation with people in public or I minister to people in public in all places. 
Um, if, if, if there's anyone under my voice that would like to receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, all you have to believe is that Jesus Christ was the Son of God and that God raised him from the dead. Just repeat after me out loud, word for word. Dear Jesus, I make you my Lord and Savior. And I believe that God raised Jesus from the dead. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you said their prayer, brothers and sisters, you are saved. And also understand that another thing in closing, God really brought me to a season of proper discretion and sense of you got to know that sometimes not saying anything about certain situations is the, is the key to representing Jesus Christ because you have to wait to the right time to talk about Jesus Christ. As my bishop said, you have to use the word of God to pull people in and then you save them. Because if you talk about Jesus Christ at the wrong time in the wrong way, it will be destructive to him. And when you're young and you're in a season where Jesus Christ says, son, go get it. I don't care what they say, how they say radical faith. Absolutely. But you ultimately have to learn how to trust Jesus Christ and follow his instruction. Because it's not about just being busy or not about just doing things from a one sided perspective or an unbalanced perspective all the time. Because that radical praise got me to where I was at. But it's also about. This, knowing how to sacrifice your pride and your way of, of what, and sacrificing your way of what's comfortable for what's right. It's about being effective in the ministry. And so you have to know when to keep your mouth shut and to just observe and then pick and choose when you talk about Jesus Christ wisely. So God bless brothers and sisters. Keep the faith going for all my brothers and sisters who talk about them all the time, every which way. Keep on doing it until God tells you otherwise. But when God tells you to switch up your game and refine it, you do that. God bless. Love you.